Hello and welcome students. Professor Kevin Taylor here with your week four lecture on emotive lighting. You should consider taking notes as there is an expectation that students will be working to apply lighting deliberately to their final color images for assignment three. Beyond color, lighting is a powerful tool in the creation of specific atmospheres for your subject and can act to support or contrast your character design, mood or coloring. Alongside your color layers, you will be adding additional layers for your highlights and shadow tones, allowing you to make adjustments or problem solve in order to make your work look fantastic. This is based on the process outlined and applied during last week's workshop, and you should be feeling confident and well-versed with layers, masks, and the other functions of Photoshop required for your successes here. You must understand the goal that you're seeking to achieve with your lighting. You want to make the audience understand the feeling of your location without much, if any, conscious thought. Indifference is the worst thing an artist can achieve. While the subject matter can be contrasted for lighting, usually you wish the lighting to strengthen and complement the narrative goals that you're striving for. A general rule is that brighter, well-lit scenes are happier and more inviting. This is because humans are innately wary or even scared of the dark. This is something that you will personally become accustomed to as a game developer, spending much of our lives in dark development caves. But knowing what the average human feels will help you with this process. The argument that I hear from students in managing lighting is often, but this scene is set in the day, so the room is brightly lit. And that just doesn't stand. That's because you're in control of the scene arrangement, location, and thus lighting. So arguing against using conscious thought in the design of your lighting is just lazy design. Let's look at our first lighting type. This lighting solution is known as the split light. It's a high contrast light, dividing the scene with lighting into the brighter and darker areas. As seen here, this can create quite a severe visual effect. The expression on the face of the individual is also relevant. On the left we see a distant expression, while on the right we see a happy expression. Ask yourself, which of these feels more at home with this severe split light? I would say that it's the face on the left. Even when smiling, the lighting makes it less welcoming aesthetically. A smile under these circumstances could even look sinister, but I would not dare to judge the motivations of a lady. While split lighting can create quite severe visual effects, the quality and strength of the light is another factor that you can control to make additional adjustments to the visual goals of your scene. On the left we have a high contrast split light, with just the light and dark areas visible. On the right we have a softening or bleeding of the hard contrast of the split light, with the light placed perhaps slightly further forward to allow us to see more of the face within the shadow. A softer transition like this will provide some calm to the stark aesthetic of a split light. The butterfly position, or key light, is the main lighting source of the scene placed at the fore of the subject here. This is generally a more open, flat light. It can create quite flattering visuals, softening details with only the semblance of shadow in crevices of the subject. Here, nothing is hidden. As mentioned previously, lighting goals can be set in contrast or support of emotions and expressions. Here we can see a sad expression on our subject. The stark split light on the left looks right at home here, and the distant sadness of the subject can be clearly felt. It's somewhat hard to communicate negative emotions through such an open, exposed, soft light on the right. The positive qualities of the subject are enhanced and softened by the key light, casting their emotional state in a clearer light that has less deeply negative overtones, even with the display of somber or dark emotion. Take a moment to assess the location on screen and ask yourself if it's more comfortable with the chosen colors and lights or less comfortable. If you want a scene to appear welcoming, you can create comfort with the use of warm, comfortable tones and soft lights that leave no or few harsh shadows. The use of warm autumn colors here, bright exterior light and numerous accent lights create a generally pleasant atmosphere. The main issue with the image on screen is that dude on the couch. Who would sit like this? He is clearly in need of some serious medical assistance. Now let's look at the image on screen. Does this scene differ emotionally from the previous one? If you answered yes, then you have a solid grasp of the obvious, so well done. Ask yourself, what aspects culminate in the separate emotional message of this scene? We have two subjects here, the man in the light on the right and the figure in silhouette on the left. The man is well lit, which on paper would suggest safety, but in this context, he is left feeling more exposed to the dangers that lie in wait. The room is dark, 
with harsh, contrasting lighting and the tones of a blue-green combination that is somewhat wintry, cold and disconcerting. This acts to keep the left figure highlighted by their surroundings, but in complete shadow for an ominous sense of foreboding. Think back to our lectures on the silhouette, and analyse that silhouetted figure. The pose is unusual, with a closed-in, awkward posture. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is not someone that you want to meet in a dark warehouse. Next you should consider... Oh, hold on. I don't know how that got in there. That's a picture of my ex. But while she's here, let's ask ourselves what feelings the lighting elicits. The scene has a bedside lamp, which can often create a sense of coziness in the room. But does it here? No. While the lampshade and wall are well lit, the figure is lit by a split light, the one that is somewhat softened by the light's direction. While the lighting may be cozy, the content is not, and that creates an interesting visual juxtaposition. Making such decisions about the emotional intent of your scene, or shot, should always be a consideration with your work. For those of you taking your design work to storyboards for animation, or taking 3D game design classes, three-point lighting is a term that you will become very familiar with. A common lighting solution, it helps to distinguish the foreground focus from the background, while maintaining shadow, tone, and interest. So, let's look at these three lights. Number one is the key light. This light registers most prominently in the frame, and is often used to suggest the direction of the main lighting source in the scene. In this case, a window. Here, when you look at the image of Amelie, you'll see that the screen right portion of her face is the brightest. That is the key light. Number two, the fill light. This light fills in the mid shadows of your frame. You'll notice that the left screen portion of Amelie's face is in some shadow, with features that remain plainly visible. The mid shadow that is cast from her hair on Amelie's cheek shows the presence and direction of the mid or fill light. Number three, the backlight. The backlight gives an edge of light to the rear portion of the subject. Often the backlight shoots down from a higher angle, working to improve the silhouette of the character, stopping them from fading into muddiness or darkness. You can see that Amelie has a strong contour along her shoulder and nape of the neck. This is the rear light. When utilizing your notes in conjunction with your assignment work, consider the character traits chosen for each of your two characters. What atmosphere would this character best be a home in? What lighting will you utilize to contrast or complement their traits? Hopefully this has provided a little tasty food for thought. This has been your week three lecture on emotive lighting. Please enjoy this picture of my roommate, who is a cat, and I will see you all in the virtual classroom.